Rhythm dribble three. Down it goes. Welcome back, Devin Kennedy. Winning the G League championship. Ended up walking away with finals MVP. I heard terrifying noise. That brings us to today. Playing in my first professional basketball game since my injury. What's up, guys? Devin Kennedy, a guard for the Lakeland Magic in the NBA G League. Hearing from my agent, you know, Orlando's going to let you go. Um, that hurt. But at the same time, I understand, you know, it's a business. Um, again, your best ability is your availability. And so they did what they thought was the best option for their team to finish the year and, and have guys on the court that could obviously play. And when you, you, know, you just started feeling, okay, you know, I'm living out my dream. You know, you live your whole life dreaming of doing something that less than 5,000 people in the world have ever done. And you're doing it and you're doing it at a high level. And then you're faced with one of the biggest, you know, setbacks of your career to the, at that moment. I, I actually watched the play a couple of times, not necessarily to see what the injury was like, but to see what happened before the injury. Um, but I had to learn from it and, and kind of face that fear, um, you know. I signed an Exhibit 10 contract with Orlando. They want me to get the best treatment under their care. And so these past three months have been a constant check-in. Where's his, where's Devin's conditioning at? What do his numbers look like um, from a health standpoint? with his right ankle versus his left ankle. And about two weeks ago was when those numbers were pretty much in line. And it was like, it's about time. I was able to walk and I was able to run at those points in time. Um, there's still the, the marginal gains that you need to make to be at the highest level and to play at the highest level. Harris LeVert, he had a couple injuries. I think one was an ankle and I got injured playing against him. So, you know, I just reached out to him. It was like, man, like, what was the process like? He was helpful. And then again, even like a month ago when Clay came back, I was locked in, I was tuned in to the TV, you know, watching that, that like, um, watching the video, the hype video beforehand, it, it really brought a tear to my eye because I, I could feel for him. And, and I was only, I've been only out eight, nine months. He's been out two years. And he had, he said in an interview when a reporter asked Clay, you know, it looks like you haven't found your rhythm out there. He said, I'll, I'll shoot a hundred shots. If I miss a hundred in a row, I'll keep shooting. And I love hearing Clay speak like that. And I, you know, I love hearing, you know, one of the best shooters in the game. When you can shoot like I can, uh, you should set your goals as high as possible. My goal is obviously to be a positive leader. My goal is to shoot 90% from the free throw line, 50% from the field, and 45% from three. Um, because I believe that I have the ability to shoot the ball at a very, very high level. Truly, honestly, in two to three weeks, I would like to be playing at the highest level that I can um, so that if and when I'm called uh, to an NBA team, I'm ready to produce and I'm ready to show that I'm healthy, I'm ready to play, and I can make an impact right away. I'm knowing that I've prepared and trained throughout the quarantine, uh, you know, with COVID and everything. That brings us to today, playing in my first professional basketball game since my injury. And I feel calm. I feel confident in the work that I've put in these past nine months, let alone the work I've put in my whole life. And I'm just really, really excited and really, really blessed and fortunate to say that I can play a basketball game here soon. Pause. Baseline drive got around the defender, finds Kennedy. Here he goes, and there's his first bucket. Jones misses the three, two minutes to go. He just finished the quarter strong. Kennedy, rhythm dribble three. Down it goes. Welcome back, Devin Kennedy.